Well guys, I didn't want to make this video. I know it's cliche to start off these types of videos with that with that opening, but honestly, truly, this is a video I, I really wish I didn't have to make. But I want to get back into making videos, and I know I'm not going to be able to do that without all of you guys spamming the comment sections asking about my thoughts on the drama. Which has already happened, by the way, and if you follow me on Twitter, selfless plug, you'll know that I've been very, very vocal about about it. I have no script for this video. That might be a bad idea. I'm just kind of... I'm popping on here because I want to be done with this. Again, I want to go back to making videos. You know, we've... <laughs> We, we got a new game theory I want to react to, I got I got news to talk about, I got, you know, the puppet carver to talk about. You know, DDLC Plus got announced, I'm hyped about that, we have E3 this week, there are so many exciting things happening right now, but I've just, I've, I'm so weighed down by all of this. So, I'm making this video as kind of my final send-off to this whole controversy, which, by the way, shouldn't have even started in the first place. I'll explain it in a second, but basically... This is all a huge invasion of Scott's privacy. While technically, yes, the information about his donations was public, it doesn't mean people should go out searching for it. It doesn't mean people should go out doxing him and sharing around his direct address. Not his mailbox, by the way. Not his P.O. box. His direct home address. And sending death threats to him, his wife, who is six weeks pregnant, by the way, and the rest of his family. Yeah, I guess I really should have had a script because I'm already going off topic. Let me quickly explain what's going on. So basically, it was found out that Scott has made several large sum donations to several political members of the Republican Party. I'm still shocked that people are shocked that Scott is a Republican. I mean, he is a Christian who lives in Southern Texas. So, I don't know, I thought that was kind of self-explanatory, but whoop de frickin do I guess <laughs> everyone's freaking out about that. As you can see from this graph, thanks Kane over on Twitter for the image. We're gonna come back to this in a second. But as you can see, the total sum of money that went to the political campaigns was 44699 Now, let me just say, I am perfectly fine with Scott's beliefs. Everybody has their beliefs. I'm not bashing him for believing in what he believes in, who he believes in. But I think a big problem people have with this is that it's, it's money from the FNAF franchise. This is money from the games, the merchandise sales, the books, all that stuff that we pay for. And when you see where this money is going to and what it, it what it's supporting, again, you know, Scott can have his beliefs, but when you see exactly what the cause of these donations is, I think that's what everybody is, is making a big deal out of. So, I'm gonna say it again, I'm not bashing on Scott for believing in what he believes in. Do I disagree? Personally, yes. I think Phil Morg, uh, the developer for FNAF Plus, actually had a really good statement that I'm gonna read out uh, on Twitter. He said, I don't agree with Scott's beliefs on modern trends and issues. I believe he's very misguided and uninformed about these topics for what he wants to accomplish. Ignorance can cause just as much harm as malice, especially referring to those in positions of power or influence, and I, I completely agree with that statement. I think Phil said that uh, amazingly. It's perfectly justified if you don't agree with me, if you don't agree with Scott, you know, again, opinions and opinions, beliefs and beliefs, they they should be respected because everybody has them and you are, you know, allowed to disagree, but sending hate, you know, sending death threats, doxing, that is, that is completely unjustified and uncalled for. It is absolutely disgusting and especially the person who dug up all this stuff on Scott simply for the lols, for the for the shits and giggles. There was a, um, a very special place in hell for you. We'll get to Scott's post in a second because I do, I do want to read it out, um, but they, they have been through so much pain and nobody, nobody should, should have to go through this. But in the end, I, I do still respect Scott. Again, it's, it's fine if you want to disagree with me, but in my opinion, Scott has, he's done so much for me for millions of people, and I think the positives uh, outweigh the negatives. I'm trying to choose my words very carefully here because if you know me, I, I, I try my absolute hardest not to bring politics or religion or anything like that uh, into my channel because for the most part, I'm not a political guy. I think politics is quite the disgusting topic. I think it brings out the absolute worst in people. I definitely do have a, a loss of respect. I find it very hard to to turn against him. He He's done so much for me. 
He quite literally saved my life, um, and I most definitely would not be here if it weren't for, uh, for, for him. I owe so much to Scott, and I guess to just throw it all away is... is not really an option, I see. From the seven years I've been following FNAF, Scott has been such a supportive and, from what we can tell, amazing individual to the community, to creators, to his family, to everybody. And that's why I do uh, feel very confident in continuing to support him. I will still be covering FNAF. I'm not leaving it again. I think, as I've already said, I, I owe so much to this franchise. I can't just leave it behind. It'll be tough. I know a lot of people think that this is going to kill FNAF. You know, the, the community is going to disband and all that stuff. I do think it's going to be rough. I don't think FNAF will die. I do think it's going to be a very rough next probably couple of weeks, maybe minimum, call it couple of days, I don't- I don't know. I'm gonna move on now to Scott's post. I feel like I- I've said everything I- I need to say. Of course, I still have more to say. My response and maybe last post. Of course, I have to make a video now when Scott titles his- his Reddit post, maybe my last post. This message isn't specifically directed at the Reddit community. This is just the community I care about the most and where I choose to post these things. I never cared much for Twitter anyway. To say the last few days have been surreal would be an understatement. I've debated greatly how best to address this, including not addressing it at all, but with so many people from the LGBT community and the fan base that I love, that's not an option. I'd like to think that the last seven years would have given me the benefit of the doubt in regards to how I try to treat people. There I was, trending on Twitter for being a homophobe, getting doxxed with people threatening to come into my house. My wife is six weeks pregnant and she spent last night in fear because of what was being said online. She's already been struggling with her pregnancy, so seeing her so afraid really scared me. All this because I exercised my right and my duty as an American citizen to vote for and support the candidates who I felt the best could run the country. Wow, I'm sorry I butchered that. For everyone, and that's something that I won't apologize for, and I'm happy about that. A few spoilers, I do wish uh, Scott maybe would have said something about, you know, what the money went towards, but I'm happy he did not apologize for believing in what he believes in. But yeah, I do wish maybe he touched a bit more upon where the money went to, and I think everybody's general concern about where the money went towards. For those who took the time to look, you saw that the candidates I supported included men, women, white people, black people, Republicans, and Democrats. I supported Kimberly Classic in Baltimore because I believe that she really cared for the African American community there and wanted to pull them out of poverty. I believe she could have really made a difference in a time when so many black communities were struggling. She lost, unfortunately. I supported Tulsi Gabbard, a Democrat, even though I disagreed with her on several issues because I felt she would have been a good and fair president. And yes, I supported President Trump because I felt he was the best man to fuel a strong economy and stand up to Americans' enemies abroad, of which there are many. Even if there were candidates who had better things to say to the LGBT uh, community directly and bigger promises to make, I believe that their stances on other issues would have ended up doing uh, much greater harm to those communities than good. All of this explanation, I fear, is wasted, as people don't want to discuss with one another anymore. They want endless apologies and submission. People who are expecting those from me will get neither. I've always been supportive of creators, and I've tried to treat everyone fairly, and treat everyone with dignity and respect. I've never cared about anyone's race, religion, gender, or orientation. I just treat people as people. Everyone the same, and because of that, I've ended up with a very diverse group of people that I've worked with over the years. It wasn't intentional, it just happened that way. I choose people who are best for the job, I treat everyone the same, and I ended up with many from all walks of life in my professional life and my personal life as well. That's the way it should be, that's the way I want it to be, that's the way I will continue to be. I'm Republican, I'm Christian, I'm pro-life, I believe in God. I always believe in equality and in science and in common sense. Despite what some may say, all of those things can go together. That's not an apology or a promise to change. It's the way it's always been. If I get canceled, then I get canceled. I don't do this for the money anymore. I do it because I enjoy it. If people think I'm doing more harm than good now, then maybe it's better that I get canceled and retire. I would accept that. I've had a fulfilling career. Besides, most things that people can take from you are things that never had much value to begin with. I've always loved and will continue to love this community and this fan base, even if someday it doesn't include me anymore. I don't think FNAF would be the same without Scott. And even then, I, I wish that Scott, if he were to retire, it would be for 
you know, the simple reason that he didn't enjoy it anymore. Maybe he wanted to focus more on his family, his his personal life, rather than being cancelled on, on Twitter.com, you know? Again, I disagree with some of Scott's beliefs. I disagree with where the money went towards, but I'm not gonna bash on him. Again, that, that, that's his beliefs, that's what he believes in. I, you know, everybody is entitled to their beliefs and opinions, and I can definitely see where the outrage is coming from, but again, I think the, the absolute hate and, um, terror that he's getting is completely unjustified. Doxing, sending death threats, all that stuff. I hope Scott is okay. I hope his family is okay. Well, I knew I was gonna forget something that I wanted to talk about, and here we are. Remember how I said we'd get back to that graph on Kane? Well, I never got back to it, so <laughs> I'm, I'm hopping in now to talk about it. I think a big reason why people are leaving the community, getting upset about Scott, you know, refusing to support him anymore, is because of where his money went towards. Apparently it went towards a lot of anti-LGBTQ plus community things. And a lot of people are saying that Scott is, you know, a complete homophobe, you know, he hates, you know, LGBTQ plus community members and all these nasty things. When I think it's pretty obvious that that is clearly not the case. Again, this is something I wish uh, Scott had touched upon in his post because this is just Wow, this is- it looks bad on him. But as you can see, you know, he directly works with Steel Wool and Hex, Darko's brand, who are both very vocal about supporting the LGBTQ uh, plus community. Kieran, who if you don't know is the CEO of Illumix, the creators behind FNAF AR, is a Indian American feminist entrepreneur. One of the many Claudias who illustrated, I believe, the Twisted Ones graphic novel. She is a Mexican lesbian artist. And of course you got Phil Morg, who is probably gay. No, but in all seriousness, as you can see, you know, from the chart, from the graph you can see that 44,699 of, again, the franchise's money went to politics, which again is the reason why people are choosing to boycott FNAF and refuse to buy Security Breach because uh, Scott is using some of the franchise's money to support these, you know, political figures. But yeah, 44 and a half thousand went to politics, but then as you can see here, the community-led charity drive sums up to 1 million. $261,200, which is only like 3.5%, which is insane. Right again, I do disagree with Scott on where he, he put his money in, in the politics, but it's like you look at all the great things that he's done and it it's insane. But yeah, I just wanted to pop in real quick, bring this to your attention, so let's, let's continue. So I'm popping in because I want to, um, state my opinion that I don't think Scott had any ill intent towards the, uh, LGBTQ plus community with these donations. From his warding in his post, it makes it seem like he was only supporting these people because he thought they would do well in this field, you know, he thought they would do well uh, helping these people, and he even had a line that says, I believe that their stances on other issues would have ended up doing much greater harm, uh, to those communities than good. So, I'm not trying to put words in his mouth, I'm not trying to find excuses for any of this. I sure hope Scott didn't mean any ill intent, but it is really hard to not do that, especially with politics, something that I think, <laughs> I mean, seems like Scott takes politics very seriously, so I I hope he knew what he was donating to, but um, but yeah, I, I hope he didn't have any ill intent. It, it seems like his warding, um, he tried to explain what was happening. I, I, I think it just got lost in the text though. But all in all, I think I've said everything I, I'd like to say. Again, maybe I should have written a script for this video because I'll, I'll be looking back and thinking, oh, I, I should have said this or I probably shouldn't have said that. I'm about to get cancelled. But I really just want this to be over with. I want to go back to making videos. I know the community isn't going to be the same, so I think wishing for that is lost hope, I guess. I don't know. I know this video might not have been what people wanted uh, when people asked for me to make a video on it, but it's all I feel comfortable making. I didn't record my face, so I don't know what's on the screen right now. Hopefully it's entertaining. Hopefully it's uplifting and, and lighthearted, because I think that's what a lot of people need right now. I think it's important to note that 
fans are getting hurt too. A lot of people are getting doxxed for siding with Scott. A lot of people getting called terrible, terrible things and slurs. It's a very dark time right now. I'm, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I think a lot of people are having to deal with a lot right now. So I'm sending the biggest and best amount of love and support, not only to Scott and his family, but also uh, everybody watching. I hope soon, maybe we can brush past all this. I definitely do think it'll take a while. It's gonna suck for a very long time. In summary, I, I have lost quite a bit of respect for Scott. I will still be making FNAF content. I don't plan on leaving the the franchise, the community, anytime soon. I, I disagree with some of Scott's uh, incentives. I'm not trying to bash on him. Again, everyone's entitled to their own opinions and beliefs. I personally don't agree with some of his um, and also don't agree where <laughs> the money went. So I think that's it for me. I'm gonna hopefully move on from all this. I hope we can soon, all of us. And I'll see you all very soon for Lots of other videos. Again, news, Puppet Carver, new game theory came out at just the perfect timing. And I'll catch you all later.